All right, Panthalaire, concluding our conversation here about my early impressions of true freshman point guard Jalen Lowe and what he's providing the Pittsburgh Panthers. I wanted to pull out something that I thought was a little bit unique for him, something I think is a special quality rather than just go over his shooting because he's you know not shooting the ball particularly well. I have mentioned I think those shots are going to fall. I don't really think there's anything like broken with his jump or anything like that. But one of the things I'm starting to notice with him is he really likes to attack switches. Now, that's something that we haven't seen as much from Bub Carrington. He's obviously a terrific player in his own right, but tends to settle for like self-creation jump shots with a lot of dribbling. Lowe's not necessarily like that, and I like that he uh, attempts to go at the bigger defenders anytime he's in a situation that he can attack a switch. So you're going to see this against Missouri. He's going to go at the 7-5 guy. Love that. So what I think Lowe is good at is he backs up. He recognizes the mismatch. I think he takes a second to see, hey, can I exploit this elsewhere? As a true lead guard, he's looking, can I exploit this elsewhere? But then he also realizes, like, I'm going to get by you uh, whether you like it or not, and I love it. I mean, he's just going to explode left. There's no chance for this 7-5 defender to stay with him on the perimeter. And I like that he attempts the floater here. Uh, this is the second made floater in this particular breakdown. I didn't put it in my other clips earlier uh, because it was an example of attacking a switch. But I like that he senses like, hey, this defender is going to step in. This could maybe be a charge for me or this is going to be highly contesting. And he gets it off in that in-between area. So this is relatively uncontested. It's not going to draw a charge. It's not a straight jump shot. Just a good feel for it here makes the shot. This one recently against the West Virginia Mountaineers going against Jesse Edwards. So he sees that. So he tries to exploit the potential mismatch. He says, okay, can I get this into Guillermo? And maybe we get an easy two points. That doesn't happen. So he kicks the ball back out, but then he wants it right back to go at the switch in the mismatch. I love that about Lowe. I think that he really, really, really tries to exploit advantages as you should as the lead guard. And so here he's going to go one-on-one -on -one with Jesse Edwards. Now this is a little bit more like Bub Carrington. Maybe not as many dribbles as Bub would take, although Bub does make his fair amount of shots in this situation. But I like that Lowe just knew, hey, this is a mismatch. I'm going to go at it, and he converts here. And I think what I'm seeing from him more than anything is a growing amount of confidence and a growing amount of comfort playing at the Division One level. He's a really good player. I think that we're going to see more and more from him. I really hope that his minutes stay pretty consistent between 10 and 12 minutes. Honestly, he's kind of trending more around 9. But I think 10 to 12 minutes to have the rest of the guards be healthy, Leggett, Carrington, those guys are going to need a little bit more rest. Hope Lowe kind of stabilizes around that time so we can see a lot more from him, things like this.